Well, I know that truck. The Mandalorian Mercs. Yep, I'm a member of the Mercs. I actually uh, started with the Mercs from the very beginning. And that's our clan there. Talon clan. But it's good to see the guys here today at the uh, Charlotte Comic Con. So, of course, I'm going to run into some of the 501st members, which I am technically still 501st, but uh, it's my friend Kenneth in his biker scout uniform. He looks awesome, and his brother is a clone of him. Yeah, I, and they're, they're both scout troopers. <laughs> and the show hasn't started just yet, but here's the 501st table and the Mandalorian Mercs all along here. Yes, but, yeah, we got a lot of vendors out front. People are kind of... You can come in here to this hall. Of course, you can't go in the dealer room yet. Got to get your ticket and all that stuff. And that's where we're going. Hey! And then, uh, they we're heading down this way. There's a Star Trek right there. And people are waiting to get inside. It should be fun today. And it's the first show of 2023. Uh, here's the line right here. Ready to go inside. It'll go in there pretty quick. Got treats here, too. Check that out. Candies. That looks good. Got lightsabers here and magic wands right there. Goodies for your costumes right here. Check those out, leather work and uh, get the horns there. And check those out. Those are pretty cool right there. The guns there, those are great. And right here is the ticket booth. Let me get around here, I'll spin around. But yeah, when you come in to MC Suites, and the cool thing about it, there you can see pretty much uh, welcome to Charlotte Comic Con right there over the ticket booth so you get your tickets here and uh, they've opened up the doors so we're going to go inside and see all the uh, comic book con goodness but uh, you have vendors here that uh, have props for your costumes which is really nice and other collectibles right here a lot of authors here and artists from different uh, companies uh, Again, this is a great place to come and uh, get some custom artwork and get it signed by the artist, John Dell Sneed, right there. Uh, hey, how you doing? Great. There's Darren Kennedy. He's got, Darren's got all kinds of books here. Check out all his books. Oh, these are awesome. So make sure to make it out here. And they've got dragons too. There's dragons! I love the banner up there. It's the first time I've seen that. Welcome to Charlotte Comic Con. Very cool. But here, of course, are all your fantastic comics. We got toys too. Look over here. And I will definitely check them out. Yeah, so be sure to check out the toys. Oh, look at this. He's got the Razor Crest right there. That's actually getting harder and harder to find. Yeah, they usually run about 800 bucks. They're not cheap, that's for sure. And uh, look, somebody's still setting up right here. All this wonderful comic book goodness. So some guys do sell figures along with their comic books. This is uh, Mr. Hibbs. They call me Mr. Hibbs. Here's their, their comics, buttons and toys. Nice booth. And of course you're gonna find all your graded comics here. And uh, they just opened so it's not super crowded right now. That's usually when I like to, <laughs> to film when I, it's not shoulder to shoulder yet. And here's a uh, modern goldfish. We always see these guys. Here's modern goldfish, my favorite folks. Good to see you too. Oh, he's got his wand. They cast, they, they made a spell of just breakfast. It's called a breakfast spell. So you gotta eat your breakfast and get your coffee in the morning. And of course, uh, one of my starring roles, Carl, you just saw him in Hickory at the uh, toy show. There he is there, they let him in here too. I, I still, I, I, I don't know why, but he's a big guy. He's like eight feet tall, so he's like huge. But uh, yeah, he's actually, he can read. So he's reading right now, yeah. <laughs> and you will find your toys here. Check these out. I like these combo sets. These are pretty cool here. 250. Mutant Hall of Fame. That is really nice. I believe Toy Biz did that. Yeah, they did. Right there. But uh, that's a cool set right there. Yeah, I love these combo sets. Very nice. And they have the singles here. They're usually about 30, 35, 40. Yeah, there you go. Excuse me. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. That's a really cool set. And you also got your anime figures here. And you got the soda pop pops right here. 
They got the figures tied. I like this Nosferatu. That's pretty cool. So when you do buy your comic books, come here to Comic Clear and get your protective cases for comic books. Yeah, they're right here. And uh, yeah, you want to protect your comics and your investment. So you got the different ages. Also, you got golden, silver, and the current sizes. So they, they do vary in sizes for your comic books. So I'm trying to cover new booths I haven't seen before. Like this is angrycomics.com right here. So be sure to check them out. But we're checking out all the uh, different booths of all the dealers. Now he's got tubs after tubs. How you doing? How's yeah, you get all kinds of toys here. This is pretty. Oh, uh, yours. Where's your toys? None for me. Oh, just comic books. That's no problem. Yeah. And what's your name? I'm Joe. Joe. This is Joe's booth. And from uh, Gatsby's Comics. What is it called? Gatsby's Comics. Gatsby. Yeah, like the Great Gatsby. A uh, Great Gatsby. Okay, Gatsby Comics. Yeah. Check out his booth right here. Thanks. And this is Spencer's Classic Comics right here. This is his booth. And some just don't, they don't have signs up above, but there are tons of dealers here, as usual, at the uh, Charlotte Comic Con. And this is Nerf Herder Comics right here. And then over here is Smasher Comics right there. Yeah, yeah, I just want to cover all the dealers and make sure you go up and see them and talk to them. And uh, I'm sure they'll help you find your comic book that you're looking for. And this is just some rocks here. And they're always at the different shows I go to and film. Got all the crystals and the marble balls. It's a nice little table right here. And Troy is here from Rebel Base Comics and Toys. He's still setting up, but he also brings some toys also right over there. I almost feel like there are more toy vendors this time than the last time we came here. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of really nice uh, setups here with all kinds of toys and pops and yeah, video games over here. This is pretty cool. Oh, look at these right here on display. Those are nice. I love the boxes they're in. And they have a cool display like Mandalorian. You got the Mythosaur back there as a background. It's Sam and the movie poster behind them. Pretty cool. And there's uh, Jack Skellington. Leprechaun from the movie Leprechaun. Ahsoka right there. And there's Luke with Gogru. Yeah, I like, I love these old displays. These are nice. I love, especially the comic book ones up here. Those are really cool. There's Red Guardian right there. Harlequin. Taskmaster. Prodigy. And Sensational Hornet. And here is Larry Allen's booth right here. Right next to Weirdy Beardy, who does all my music for Todd Venture. There he is there. He's busy. It's good to see everybody having a good time and selling comic books. This is pretty cool. Check this out. $130 right here for this uh, Predator with LED lights that light up on his uniform. That's pretty cool. And there's Fortress Maximus still in his box. He's got some really nice stuff here in this booth. A lot of anime too. He's also got Pop, some t-shirts. Walk over here. Transformers right over here. And some Dungeons and Dragons. He's got some Lucy's here too. Check those out. So Friday the 13th for 80. He's got Pennywise for 65. And there's Freddy for 65. That's some of the older Nikas too. And then he's got uh, the Mythic Legion right here. Some of the figures. Some of these are actually getting harder and harder to find. So yeah, I'm going to check those out. Again, <laughs> I keep on saying, I don't know if I want to go down that way, that pathway. But he's got some other cool bigger ones here. And the horses there for your figures. And look who I ran to. It's Tracy here from Needless Toys. And I went to a store. Watch that video. I'll be posting that too, along with this one. It's good to see you, brother. Nice to see you as always. Yeah, you got to make sure you check out his store in Lincolnton, Needless Toys. And this is Jamie's work right here. She has a t-shirt company. Where she has her custom shirts by Jamie Smith in Lincolnton. And there's her phone number right there. But she does all these wonderful t-shirts. I'm looking at the Stormtrooper right now. And she's got some more over here. Let me show you those too. And here's some more Jamie's work right here. Yeah, so be sure to check her out. I'll have all her information in the description. And this is Dead Edge right here. I love her t-shirt. That one's awesome. We wear the Empire. That is so cool. That is awesome. They got all kinds of cool jewelry here and knickknacks. Check this out. There's little mini bags here. Those are cool. And you got belts. More t-shirts. Look at these little bows here too. Those are cool. And you got these skeleton hands right here. 
they're skeleton ha uh, hair clips. <laughs> That's pretty wild. And you get uh, all kinds of cool socks. Look at that. And there's their t-shirts right over here. So Beardy, he's over here, but he also has a little booth over here too. Some more comic books. So if you see it kind of separate from him, you'll know that these are his. And you will find booths with cool movie posters and uh, more comics and toys, of course. All along here. You can see all this uh, anime over here and tons of Legos. Yeah, just all kinds of characters. And you got these little guys here too. Look like anime figures. Those are cute. They come with little stands too. And you got little Pikachus, Dragon Ball Z, and some just really cool looking figures. And uh, look at this cute little guy here. Yeah, he's cutie right there. He's having a good time checking out all the comic books and toys. And look who we ran into. Yeah, Logan himself, the Wolverine. Yeah, he, I, I still, yeah, he's still smoking though. I don't know. Yeah. You know, yeah, exactly. And as you can see, it is filling up really quick. There's a lot of people here in the, just in the last 30, 40 minutes. And this is Marie's Magical Menageries. Check that out. You a stitch right there. Kind of a Buddha stitch. <laughs> They're holding all the jewelry and stuff. And check these 3D print, printed out uh, figures. Very cool. Love it. And this is kind of Artist Alley right here. Jason Conley right there. This is very cool. And a lot of these guys have uh, worked for different comic book companies uh, in the past or currently. And uh, also they have their own comic books as well that they come here to promote. So be sure to check out these booths. Yeah, it's like on the far wall. They're usually on the far wall. As you enter, it's usually on the left. That's where these guys are. And then you also have uh, like EB Spider, which we've seen her stuff at different conventions. She does great work. Yeah, with all the knitting and stuff like that. And there's Pikachu. Check the hat out up there. That is really neat. There's, there's like Cthulhu stuff. But there's artists all along here. And uh, beautiful work. And this is Ray's Vinyls. He's not only doing the stickers and the decals, he also does the glasses. And these are pretty cool. They're like pint size. And you got the shot glasses. You also got the uh, bourbon, I call them bourbon glasses, over there. Calls them, they're called rocks. But uh, yeah, he does some great work. Also got these coasters down here too. And here's Corridor 6 right here and his comic books. We see him a lot at different conventions. And there's also T-Rex comics over here. And I've gotten a few from him. He's counting his money right now. Mario, right here. And he's, and he's certified plumber, too. He tells you right there that he's uh, certified. And there's Luigi right there. He'll look good. And he's got his handy dandy plunger on his side. And I love this artwork. Kind of a stained glass look to it. And uh, these are by Kayla Leonard, Seasons of the Geek. Here's her information right here. Oh, uh, yeah, she does beautiful work. Kind of looks like there's Kayla there. Hey, yeah, so be sure to check her booth out. It's kind of a stained glass looking artwork. It looks great, kind of anime and all kinds of different characters. Really nice. And we've got this awesome looking Batman and Thor. She's right over there. You guys look great. Thank you. So right here, South Carolina Horror. It's in Columbia area and there's the dates. It's at the Horror Convention, September 16th and 17th of this year. Be sure to check that out. Here, and here's their booth. Let me back up a little bit here. So you can see their table. Here it is right here. Yeah, I'm going to try to hit that this year. And uh, yeah, looks like it'll be a really cool horror convention. And this is Tick. Greetings, fellow citizens of the city. Never fear, for I am here to take down any doers of wrong and evil. Spoon! Now this booth, like, they're like an independent movie uh, company going on. Be Your Own Hero Productions right there. So... Yeah, they're getting their stuff together and uh, doing all kinds of cool videos of uh, different skits that they're doing. So they're building up their reputation too. Uh, and uh, yeah, called Be Your Own Hero Productions right there. And probably they did a movie here too called The Sinister Cinema right there. And this is the CAG booth. Klingon Assault Group right here. Check them all out. They look awesome. 
they're always at these conventions and they do a lot of great charity work too so be sure to check them out and donate some money for their specific charity that they're working on and of course you have your 501st table we walked by them earlier and also the mandalorian mercs right next door right here and have a nice display of their different helmets oh he's got a lightsaber that thing's bright yeah check out that you got the porg up there too that's pretty cool but all the helmets look great yeah they have a nice setup as usual these still look great looking awesome <laughs> and check out these uh, carpets here got the harry potter there transformers more harry potter these are so cool and i love that stitch one that's really nice <laughs> and let the countdown begin shall we begin TNT Comics right here. Justin and Randy Taylor. Yeah, they run this uh, really cool comic book booth right here. And these guys look really good here too. You got Layla's and Arwen and a mushroom. And we got Captain America here. Yeah, I know who that is. He looks great. Looking good, Cap. And this is Bonafide Comics and they are super busy. I mean, everybody is pretty much really busy right now. But yeah, he's got a really nice booth here. He's got some really, really nice comics. Yeah, he's got a lot of graded ones as well at the very top there. But uh, yeah, he's got a great selection. We've seen him, we've seen him at a few uh, different conventions. And this is Russell's booth right here with all these incredible figures. He's got the uh, Legends, he's got the Star Wars Black Series, he's got the McFarlane, he's got some of the old Toy Biz ones as well, but he's, uh, he's got all kinds of figures over here. He's also got the He-Man Retros over there too. Uh, here's Russell over here, he's got lightsabers too. Uh, there he is here. And yeah, somebody just bought a Mandalorian helmet. Pretty cool. Yeah. And this whole table, Russell also has these Lucy's that he offers. I mean, there are just tons and tons. Of figures that he has look at all these and check this out they do have a balloon guy he'll make like kind of all kinds of figures and swords and hats to wear it's scott link and we don't know where he's at but this is his booth with all these wonderful balloons Jason and Iron Man. We've got some of the costumes out here too that look great. Check them out. Fatal Fury. Yeah, he's looking awesome. Yeah, I got Magnificent over here. She looks great. So, yeah, the costumes are coming out. And we got some of the Ghostbusters over here too. We got Sherilyn. 
and her squad right here. They all look awesome. Looking good, guys. So all the cosplayers are coming out of the woodworks right now. Everybody's getting pictures with people in costumes. And uh, yeah, it's great. Ghostbusters. And uh, we've got a couple of Batman. And of course, we've got the Klingons over here. This is great to see this. I usually don't stay all day, but I'm just happy to get some of these costumers on here. He's a cutie right there. He has a little wheelchair. He looks awesome. But uh, yeah, everybody's having a good time. And you get the whole gang here too. They look great. Check them out. And it was a definitely a fun day here at the Charlotte Comic Con. Uh, talked to a lot of old friends I haven't talked to in a long time or haven't seen. Good to see them out here collecting comics and also working the booths too at the uh, the Star Wars booth, the um, Mandalorian Mercs and the 501st and Ghostbusters too. It's great seeing Sherilyn and her group that she's with and just a lot of costumes today. Had a good time. All right, stay tuned folks. We've got more stuff coming up and uh, please subscribe if you haven't. It's, all, it's free. doesn't cost you anything. But we got a lot more events and a lot more content coming up. All right guys, you take care. Bye-bye.